Christ, Lindsay. Welcome to West Point. Thank you, General. And Mrs. Arnold, a blessing on your household. Thank you, Your Excellency. I believe you're acquainted with Major Talmadge. My heartfelt congratulations to you, madam. Mm. Sir? Allow me to introduce my aide-de-camp, Colonel Alexander Hamilton, who is not with us in Philadelphia. To my tremendous regret. Colonel. And, and this is... Le Marquis de Lafayette. Your fame precedes you, monsieur. Oh, not as much as yours, madame. You must know that your beauty is spoken of in every salon in Paris, indeed at the court itself. <clears throat> Gentlemen, I must beg you to excuse me. Your wife's work is never done, especially in a new house. Yes, of course. Well, gentlemen, let us drink to your journey and safe passage. You decided to keep it powdered, eh? Well, when in Rome, or Versailles, I should say. So, you're on your way to meet the French. Our allies in Hartford. Yes. We won't impose on you for more than a day. Please, stay as long as you like. It does the man good to see you here. Dispatch, sir. Some from a John Anderson under flag of truce. No, ma'am. Pray, don't let us to interfere with our business. The flag of truce is always of import. Mr. John Anderson is amenable to a meeting with Mr. Gustavus to discuss the terms for the goods under discussion. Quite vague, isn't it? Who is John Anderson? Gustavus. I've discovered that my predecessor shirked his duties here. I wouldn't put it past him to have been on the London trade as well. This is no doubt one of his profit-making schemes. To victory. 